Now to a neighborhood crime alert involving a rash of car burglaries in northwest Jacksonville. Crooks targeted several vehicles in the Trout River Bluff subdivision early yesterday, and it was all captured on camera. Take a look. Neighbors tell us items ranging from a rifle to cash were taken. News for Jack's reporter Khalil Maycock joins us live now. And Khalil, you spoke to people there who say they feel violated. They do, and one man I spoke with says he forgot to lock his car Monday night when he was exiting his vehicle because he was dealing with his three children. He says although he did that, it didn't give people the right to go through his car and steal from him. In this security camera footage, you see a person carrying a rifle walking up to this car door, opening it and looking around. The people in this video are wearing a face mask and were caught on multiple other security cameras in the Trout River Bluff subdivision doing the same thing. The sense of security was stolen. Sean Baker is one of the people whose car was burglarized. He says he didn't lock his door Monday night when he was getting his three kids out of his vehicle. Because he didn't do that, the money he had on the inside was stolen. I wouldn't necessarily say it was a large amount, but I would just reiterate that they're taking money out of my kid's mouth and I don't take kindly to that and I don't appreciate that. If you need the money, go get a job. Besides money, shoes, along with the rifle seen in this video, were also taken from the vehicles burglarized. With a firearm getting into the wrong hands, Baker says he's worried for the community. This is only short lived. You're in a long neck of woods for trouble in the future. You're playing with your own life, not just a gun. And News for Jack spoke with a person who didn't want to be identified. She says the car burglaries aren't the only troubles the neighborhood has experienced recently. She says one house was spray painted and others have been getting their doors banged on. It was terrifying. You don't you don't know if somebody can kick the door hard enough to actually come into your house or if they're just doing it to try to scare you. And those neighbors we spoke to say they hope the people who burglarized them or banged on their doors do not come back. But coming up at 11 here, what they plan to do if that's not the case. Reporting live, Quill Maycock, Channel 4, The Local Station.